Live from Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News This Morning. John Elliott is live in Edison, New Jersey for the Super Pet Expo. Gosh, John, if you could pick an assignment, I would send John Elliott to the Super Pet <laughs> Expo. <laughs> Good morning. Let's just hope there's lots of pets, and I would actually take a large St. Bernard right now. Hey, it is cold for your morning dog walk. That's why we're happy to be heading inside. It's also National Argyle Day, so maybe get a nice Argyle scarf and you're good to go. Right now, though, we'll send things right back to Andrea. John, thank you. John Elliott is live at the Super Pet Expo in Edison, New Jersey, with our first alert forecast. Hi, John. Wait a minute, no dogs allowed <gasps> because it is cat time. These are amazing animals. We're going to talk more about this special breed of cat. We're going to talk more about why cats make the perfect pet. And we're going to talk about some needs in the cat community as well. Oh, I love that. He actually sees himself on TV. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, some cats have extra fur and they need it. I'm just going to start purring as we send things back to you in the studio. John, thank you. Time to get back down to Edison, New Jersey, where John Elliott is at the Super Pet Show talking pets and weather this morning and cats. Hey, John. And wouldn't you know, <laughs> Just as I, uh, just as we were, perfect timing. We'll go get that cat. Um, uh, great, I love cats. As mom goes to get our little Bengal tiger cat. Oh, he's right here. God bless Jessica. Jessica Petrus is here, and that was frantic. If you guys only saw, because this guy is very curious. This is a, a type of fancy cat. It's a, a, a Bengal, right? Correct. This is Giordani. He's a 10th uh, generation Bengal cat, and he's obviously very curious uh, about his environment. Extremely curious. I was, a, you know, and I was holding him for a while, and then just like that, he saw something and he was fascinated by him. Why, why, why do we love cats so much? Cats are just excellent companions. They offer company. Uh, they're usually very happy to see you. Bengals are just, uh, for me, just very comical cats. They love to play around, get into mischief, and we often describe them as being like toddlers in a cat body. Now, I hate to put you on the spot, but can you bring over your other cat? She has a uh, the Maine Coon cat, which is, again, a cat all these cats they would shed so cats notorious not notorious they're known for grooming themselves but when you have cats like this some of these cats they actually need extra grooming wait till you get a load of this beautiful animal and these cats are actually bred to have the extra hair to deal with the cold winters of maine this is a juvenile cat how old is this uh, little boy oh he is barely 11 months old he's already about 18 pounds uh, Maine Coons can c continue to uh, grow until about five years of age. This guy has quite a bit of growing still left to do. A total different personality. I mean, for being as young, he's pretty chill for a cat. Yeah, Maine Coons are pretty docile. They're great lap cats. Um, they do have some energy to them, and they can keep up with Bengals pretty well. But you've already been brushing him this morning. I mean, he does require work, right? They do. They are prone to madden, so it is important to you know, brush them on a weekly basis. I'm just fascinated by this. Um, uh, why do you do what you do? I mean, I know your husband's in the military. We appreciate his service. You've got young kids. You just love cats, right? I do. I have been obsessed with cats since I was a little kid. Uh, I was known for being the little girl that would sneak cats in her bedroom and hide them from her dad. <laughs> and it's just always just been a big passion of mine. So I rescue and I also raise uh, pedigree cats and I host cat shows and for us, this is a great family ordeal for, you know, especially when my husband's deployed. Yeah, I got to tell you, and the, behind the scenes, she said she converted her husband from a dog guy to a cat guy. Um, and you're right here. What's the name of your company? Well, it's a hobby. So um, I have a cattery called Liberty Bengals, and, but um, our club is United Cat Club, and we're from the International Cat Association. Well, Jessica, thank you. Man, I gave Jessica a workout <laughs> this morning, <laughs> and uh, we are going to switch from cats to dogs at the other, shh, I won't tell anybody, uh, at the other end of the uh, ex Expo Center here. Thank you, Jessica. This was so much fun. Andrea, I, 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 if you could listen real closely, you would hear purring 
Aww. right now we'll send things back to you in the I studio. know we, we had a cat growing up and she had a similar coat like that like that little one right there the super pet expo starts Whoa. at 10 o'clock right John and open to the public that's right Open to the public, over 100 vendors, it's cats, it's dogs, it's reptiles, and it's all kinds of stuff that you need to love them all. All right, and more coming up from John later throughout the hour. Thank you so much.